Okay, so I've heard um, various um, people, experts, whatever you'd like to call them, say that the Archons or the um, reptilian type beings, Anunnaki, whatever description you want to put on them, I have heard people say that these beings are in the fourth dimension. Now, it just occurred to me that human beings are spiritual beings in a physical body. Now, thought creates reality and we're all connected. This is what the original human beings are supposed to be and still are those of us that are left. Now, if the technical beings are in the fourth dimension and we are in the third dimension, to me, I think it is the other way around. But I can't prove this and I don't even know about dimensions and I would be iffy about that whole dimension thing anyway. But if you look at it that way, it tends to imply, if you think about it, that they are in a higher dimension and we are in a slightly lower dimension, but they're very close, but they can't get in. I would say that that could be a possibility, but I would reverse it myself. I would say that we are in the fourth dimension and they are in the lower dimension, the third, and they want to bring us into the lower dimension. Because how can technological beings be in a higher dimension? I don't think that is likely. Either that or they have suppressed and pushed us down to such an extent that we have went into a much lower dimension than what we are meant to be in. Because if we are spiritual beings and they are merely technological beings, admittedly older than us and much more advanced, that doesn't make any difference to that basic, what I would call a basic truth. But you do have to come from that perspective and from that um, idea or belief. Now, what I'm saying is that, yes, if, you know, they are very technologically advanced, but they have thrown away their spirituality in favour of technology. So that should bring them down into a lower dimension, in, in my way of looking at it. Whereas the higher you are spiritually, the higher the dimension. This is how the domain is supposed to work, I, I believe. If, if, if you believe that it's a totally spiritual domain, you know, then you would have to go with that, okay? And so, therefore, I'm saying that we should... Uh, some, uh, the, some of the people that talk like this might have that dimension thing slightly wrong. It should be the other way around, I, I think, even though these people know much more than me about the whole thing, so don't get me wrong, I'm not um, criticising. But, in fact, it's a reasonable um, way. It does probably doesn't matter either way that much, but the implication tends to imply that they're higher if you're saying they're in a higher dimension. Whereas in reality that could not possibly be true unless humans have sunk to such a low level, spirituality-wise, that they really have gone um, right down. Because as spiritual beings, even if they are very technologically advanced, they have to stay in their own dimension. They can only stay in their own dimension or go lower. They can't go higher because they have no spirituality. They can only advance technologically and technological advancement is a different thing to spiritual advancement. Okay, So we would have originally meant to be in much higher dimensions or are capable of going into higher dimensions, I would imagine, um, whereas we're stuck in the one dimension and it's pretty low. But I'm saying that even with that, it sounds as though the technological beings are better if you start saying they're in the fourth and we're in the third. I think it's the other way around. This is just a thought. Um, it, like I said, it doesn't matter a great deal because humans need to uh, are supposed to be in a much higher thing and we're stuck in this low dimensional, low vibrational, very dense physical realm that is uh, 
that traps us basically because then we become extremely physical and we can't escape the physical around us almost. It becomes impossible. And so then that keeps us at the low vibrational, low density level, if you want to look at it that way. Even though I'm the first to admit that I do not necessarily believe or understand in the dimensions. But I just thought I would put that in here as a thing. If anyone's interested... Um, <laughs> Anyway, thank you for listening.